Good morning, I hope you're having an awesome day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Mexico City. We're staying in the Roma Norte district of Mexico City. And this is an upscale, very trendy area of the city. But what I love about it is that you'll be, just be walking down the street and you will find an abundance of Mexican street food almost on every single corner. So the plan for today is we're just gonna walk around the neighborhood that we're staying in. We're gonna go on a Mexican street food tour. I'm not even totally sure what exactly we're gonna eat, but we're gonna find the places that are popular and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video and I'm hungry. We walked over to one of the main roads uh, in Roma Norte and this, this road is very popular because a lot of people, I think more people work on this street and there's a metro station very close by so there's quite a few street food stalls, it's busy. There's a place that I want to start with which is just up the road which serves this amazing chicken soup. Hola, buenos dias. Hola, buen dia. Corto de pechuga. Un cuarto de pechuga. Uno de pechuga uno, y uno de pierna, por pierna. favor. Para comer aquí? Sí, por favor. Corta, se me va a caer el plato. Gracias. Cuarto. This is a stall that Ying and I have already eaten at a couple of times when we just need something for takeaway. They serve chicken soup. It's called caldo de gallina. Uh, it's, he always has a hot pot of just simmering chicken soup. And we're here in the morning, so it's very fresh. The pot is full. You can see the herbs. You can see the onions floating around in that, that swimming pool full of chicken broth. Uh, you order, you can order the chicken breast, you can order the chicken leg, you can order the drumstick, you can order all the different types of, you can order the chicken feet. Uh, I decided to go for the pierna, which is the drumstick. Yum, yum, hello. Yeah. You can also get your soup with either rice or with uh, garbanzo. And I, this time I got garbanzo. I've had rice before and it's good. But look at that rich chicken stock. One of the highlights of eating soup is that you've got all the condiments, the onions, the lime, the chili. And the best thing about eating soup is that you get to doctor it up. You get to season it as you like. Well, let me just taste the chicken broth as is first. It's, it's really like condensed chicken. It's a little bit oily. It's very salty. You can taste the sweet onions in there. It, it's delicious from the start. But yeah, really the highlight for me is adding all the seasonings. There's some roasted chili flakes, which is always awesome. And then you gotta give it a, little, a squeeze of lime. Let me go ahead and break into that, that chicken now. Oh, look how soft and tender that chicken is. Oh yeah, mm. the chicken has been boiled for so long. It's not mushy, but it's so soft. The guy sitting next to me, I saw a trick that he just pulled that I, I, gotta, I gotta copy. Okay, you grab a tortilla, and then you go in for some of this salsa, right into the center of the tortilla, and then you wrap it up. Now you've got a tortilla with salsa in the center and you can kind of alternate, you can kind of dip it, you can uh, take bites of soup, you can eat your tortilla. Chase that with the tortilla. Oh, oh, that salsa is amazing. Mm. That's a that's a very cool trick right there. Oh, that that goes so well together. They just finished chopping up the habanero and onions. Oh, this is the seasoning. I really want. Oh, you can just smell that. It goes up your nose just smelling it. This is what I need. Oh yeah, oh that's good. That bumps up the heat, that bumps up the flavor. You've got that sourish habanero flavor to it, those onions, those crunchy onions. Muchas gracias. Oh, delicious way to start the day. Okay, we're moving on. Ying and Micah went to go take their morning nap, so I'm on my own for a little while. I'm walking, oh, I'm walking right past 
the Plaza de Rio de Janeiro with Michelangelo's David statue in the middle. Uh, this is one of the, the landmarks of Colonia Roma and I'm on my way to go check out some more street food. This is a little supermarket. They have all sorts of things, especially import things. Uh, sometimes we've bought some, some groceries there, but right on the outside of the supermarket, on the sidewalk, is a place that I've been wanting to try. Frijol, requesol, nava. De, de frijol y, y, y eso también. Y, y, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Un quesería? Uh -huh. Y un quesería, por favor. You come right at lunchtime, they're, they're packed. There's a crowd just standing around this corner. Uh, they make a number of different things, including tlacoyos. They're using all blue corn. They have about at least a dozen different ingredients with toppings that you can add. Uh, I'm not totally sure what I'm getting, but we'll, we'll find out. Tlacoyo con flor? ¿Cómo se llama? Flor de calabaza. Flor de calabaza, okay. Para comer aquí? Sí. Salsa uh, roja. Nopal? Sí. Queso? Sí. It's absolutely beautiful how they make it. It's so colorful. Uh, so first, yeah, they fry that masa with the blue corn and they, they really let it sizzle. You can see it kind of char on both sides. Uh, and then she fried up those flowers. I ordered it with those flowers. There's beans stuffed in the inside. Oh, it's just overflowing with ingredients. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a, it's like a trough. Oh, oh wow. Mm. That's so good. Oh, the blue corn. There are beans stuffed into that, that base. That's incredible. So awesomely good. Salsa. Very good. Muy, muy bueno. Next, I ordered a quesadilla with cheese, um, and again, they use that, that blue corn. It's, it's just beautiful. It gives it a notch, another beautiful, colorful notch. It, it has a bit of a different taste from regular uh, white colored corn as well. Oh, the entire thing is actually squishy because there's so much cheese in there. And paired with that salsa verde, that's so good. That's so much cheese. That just blew the taste buds off my tongue. You know it's an amazing place when there's a crowd standing around it. And there's a taxi driver who just pulled up. He, he stopped in a, in a no-stop zone and he's ordering takeaway out of, his, out of his window. You know they're doing good things when that happens. We are off to an extremely happy Mexican street food tour today. I feel the happiness just radiating because that food is so good. Buenos dias. Está abierto? Todavía no. Ah, okay. Una hora, más o menos. Una hora. Una hora. Okay, más o menos. Okay. Gracias. Sí, señor. Voy a regresar. Sí. The next place I'm gonna eat is this birria stall, and I've been eyeing it. It's packed at lunchtime. Unfortunately, he's not open yet. He's gonna be open in about one hour. Ah, uh, so I'll just I'll just walk around, get some exercise for the time being. But birria coming next. That's one of the ultimate dishes. I think I'm the first customer today. He is just opening up. 
You can smell the aroma. It smells so good. I cannot wait to eat birria. Un plato con carne? Un plato con carne. Un taco. ¿Qué es? Ah. Oh, un, ¿Qué tal un, un plato, por favor. Todo ya. In Jalisco is known that that's 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 where the best birria comes from in Mexico. Muchas gracias. Oh, oh, oh. gracias. oh, it smells so good. He said it's it's sometimes uh, birria can be made with goat, uh, but this is made with uh, with beef. He, you can either order tacos, he'll make the tacos for you, or uh, you can order a whole bowl, which he'll chop up the meat, he puts it into a bowl, he adds the soup, he adds in some onions, and then you eat it with separate with tortillas. Oh, it smells so good. This is one of the ultimate Mexican street food dishes. Oh. Oh. That's stunning. That's just meat stew at its finest. It's so good. Okay, now I gotta season. Some lime juice. I cannot resist adding in a couple of these fried chilies. And then he also said this is some uh, picante salsa, which I will also add a little bit of this in. Oh man, that is just awesome. I love it. Oh, with that squeeze of lime. Mm. Those fried chilies are so fragrant. Not too spicy. Okay, it sort of builds on you. And I'll just grab some of that meat and that whole chili and just kind of drain it of the drain it of the juice and into the tortilla. And I think I'll go in for some of these more pickled onions as well. on top and a little more of that salsa oh, oh, oh perfecto absolutely stunning oh that's delicious It's so good. And you can tell the people that eat here, they are regulars because they know each other like friends. Um, this is the type of neighborhood street food stall that if I, well, I am living around this area, I would definitely come here on a very regular basis. Birria is one of my favorite Mexican dishes. Uh, I remember eating it years ago with with some of my buddies in Arizona. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome. This was so good. Yeah, very good. Muchas gracias. Si, sí, estén bien, gracias a ustedes. Gracias. What a dish, and he's so friendly too. Uh, that's the type of dish you just sit there, it just warms you from the inside out. It's a little bit oily, but the flavor is abundant, and you kind of go there, you kind of have a conversation, you eat, you socialize. I got a little salsa on my shirt, so I think it's time to change. Micah just woke up from his nap. Well, you look pretty warm and cozy down there on this cold day in Mexico City. And we are on our way. It's across the main road to a place to eat mariscos. Buenos días. Hola. Dos tostadas de camarón y dos de pulpo, por favor. Gracias. We walked around a little bit. I was afraid that they might be closed, but after we, we circled back around, finally found this place. This is just a little marisco spot. They have bar counter seating, and then they actually have a table set out too, so we got a table. Okay. 
Okay, so he said we eat the, the tostada de camarón, the shrimp tostada first, and then he'll make the, the, the octopus. He layered it in shrimp, uh, then he topped it in onions, there's cilantro on there, and then he took the avocado and scooped it right from the shell. Uh, some nice, generous slices of avocado, and then just a very light sauce, looks like there might be some pepper in there, uh, and that is just simple, beautiful. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you've got that mayonnaise, the crunchy base, the shrimp have this wonderful, refreshing, cold texture to them. You've got the crunch of the onion and the cilantro. You've got the creamy avocado. It's amazing. Increíble. <laughs> Muy rica. Muy rica. Uh, Tailandia. Ah, sí. Gracias. Squeeze on a little more lime, although he, he's already added some lime on there. It tastes like kind of sour already, but an extra bit of lime will, is never a bad idea. And I am going to add on a little more of this tomatoes and onions. That's really outstanding. That is so good. It's so refreshing. It's so fresh. It's so. Mm. Now it's time for the octopus tostada. Squeeze on the lime. Add on that extra refreshing tomato and tomato and onion salsa. Oh, perfect. All the same ingredients, the crispy base, the mayonnaise, the creamy avocado, the onions, the cilantro, but instead of the shrimp, it's octopus. The octopus is, it's soft, but definitely the camarón, the shrimp wins. I'm blown away by these tostadas. There was no way we were gonna leave without having some more tostadas. We ordered some more of the camarón shrimp tostadas. They are mind-blowingly delicious. And they're both topped already with some of the tomato salsa with those onions. Oh, just loaded. That avocado, those shrimp. Oh, just, that's just, it's just a thing of beauty. Okay. It's just street food after street food of complete, like, mind-bewildering deliciousness. Just a quick disclaimer, we've already been to this street food stall. Uh, they serve, well, I mean, it, it's Mexican style, but it's very popular. Uh, we've been there once, it was Ying's idea, uh, but we didn't order the right thing. And when I was standing in line the last time and ordering, then I, I met a friendly man who was also ordering and he said, oh, this is the one you gotta order. Uh, but I had already ordered and I didn't order the right thing, so I thought, oh, we, we gotta come back. Now is the time. It's right on the corner of this park in Roma Norte. And this is gonna be the final Mexican street food dish of this tour. You can just smell the burger juicy smoke throughout this entire intersection. Here's the spot right there. Uno de queso y piña, por favor. Con todo, por favor. Gracias. Yeah, hamburgers are a very, very popular Mexican street food. You'll find them throughout the city. But this particular stall, I really wanted to show it to you because it's, you come here at any hour of the day and they always, always have a crowd outside of them. So they're, and oh, not to mention, they've been making burgers since 1990 in the same exact place, uh, their same burger. And we did eat here the other day, I mean, Ying and I sampled the burger, but I had just ordered the regular plain burger. But then I got in line, and then the friendly man who was in line after me, he said, oh, you have to order the pineapple cheeseburger here. And if you pay attention in line, you'll hear everybody. Not, not, not one person in line fails to order the cheese 
cheese pineapple burger. They flame grill the patties, they put on a piece of cheese, they grill the pineapple, and then I got it with all the toppings. So let's let's just let's just take a look at what's inside of this guy. Um, you can see the, the grilled charred edges of the burger. There's tomato, there's lettuce, there's ketchup, there's uh, mustard, there's mayonnaise, and yeah, that whole piece of pineapple. And the cheese is somewhere below here as well. You can taste the flame grilledness of it. You've got the sweet pineapple, the salty cheese, the fluffy bun, the tomato, the lettuce, the, the sweet and tangy ketchup. Yeah, it's all there. Oh yeah. This is definitely a burger that could compete with the world's most renowned fast food chains. Okay, so we have come to the end of this awesome, it's been an awesome Mexican street food tour. And to be honest, when I started this morning, I didn't. I had a few ideas of the places that I wanted to go, but I didn't really know. I didn't really have a plan. And sometimes it turns out so well. Those were amazing dishes, all the way starting from that chicken soup, the birria, it's all oh, those tlacoyo, that tlacoyo also was amazing. The birria was so good. Those uh, tostadas were, were insanely delicious. Actually, everything from this entire Mexican street food tour in Mexico City, Roma Norte, was delicious. Probably, okay, probably my favorite thing was this, those seafood mariscos tostadas. Awesome. And finally, you might be wondering about the t-shirts. Uh, and I was wearing that other t-shirt this morning and now this t-shirt I travel for food and tacos. When I arrived to Mexico City, I got an email from Marisa. She's from Mexico City. She owns a t-shirt company uh, and she said, I want to translate some of your t-shirts into Spanish and give them to you. And so she gave me these t-shirts. I think they're absolutely awesome. Huge thank you to Marisa. And that's gonna be it for this Mexican street food tour, Roma Norte in Mexico City. I had a fantastic time and you can too. If you just walk around, there's so much delicious street food in Mexico City. Uh, you just have street food after dish after dish of never ending culinary deliciousness excitement. Okay, I'm gonna end this video right now. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, and also make sure you click the subscribe button. I'm gonna be publishing lots more street food and travel videos like this. And also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of all future videos that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Mexico City, and I'll see you on the next video. And remember to travel for food and tacos.